So if you've been following our channel for quite some time or following my videos for quite some time, you are quite well aware that I'm always using the MacBook Pro for all my video edits and work due to me using the Final Cut Pro for all my video edits. However, if this wasn't the case, I would really happy to double in the Windows laptop for more than just working and browsing that I do currently. I also know that most of you guys out there will use Adobe Premiere Pro for video editing or you're not into video editing at all. But if you're looking for an alternative that is within your budget and you're looking for a multifunctional laptop that also can cater to some of your light gaming, well, this is why I'm reviewing this latest laptop here, the Huawei MateBook D16 2022. And also I will share some of my thoughts after reviewing this laptop. In the box, you'll find a warranty card, Type-C to Type-C cable, and then the 65 watt Huawei supercharged power adapter, which is just a size of a credit card. Super small and compact for traveling. You also can use it for charging your other Huawei devices too, not just for your Huawei laptop. The laptop design is still having the D-series pattern to it. Sleek metallic body with a nice alloy finish. And this is the Mystic Silver Color. Now, the one hand opening test. Hey. Oops. Obviously, you can't open it with one hand. You need two hands to open it up. But once you close it up, it's super convenient to carry it around. Open it up, you got a nice full-size keyboard with good key travel and also a number pad on your right, which is pretty nice for those of you who do need it. Now, you'll notice that the touchpad here is off the center alignment. But if you partition the number pad here, you see it's actually aligned center with your keyboard and there are few shortcuts on the numeric keypad like calculator, button to switch to camera, written home screen and AI search for file. And on top of the right corner, you have the power button comfort fingerprint reader. This keyboard is also a back leg keyboard. You've got two brightness level for you to tune it. Now, for the trackpad here, it does support all the shortcut gesture for the Windows 11 and also a built-in left and right button here, which feels solid and it is an accurate touchpad to use. Under the laptop, you've got the Evans and the rubber foot. On the right, we have a USB 2 port and a USB 3.2 Gen 1 port. Not sure why the USB 2 port is there instead of two USB 3.2 ports, but we do get two USB USB-C ports on the left with a status LED in the middle for your charging indicator. We got HDMI 2.0 and there is still a 3.5mm headphone jack here. Last but not least, now we got four microphones situated on the front of the laptop which is nicely positioned. Now onto the display, this is the thing that I'm quite amazed with Huawei because you get a 16 inch IPS display out of a 15 inch form factor body laptop and this time there is no keyboard webcam now. But you get a 1080p AI webcam on the top bezels here. Speaking about bezels, it is pretty slim. The display looks great for most of our daily use. The max brightness will be up to 300 nits but there's an anti-glare coating here so indoors it is still quite bright and even under the sunlight you're able to see it clearly because of the anti-glare coating here. You got the Windows 11 home pre-installed 16 gig of RAM and there is another lower option which is the 8 gig of RAM. 512 gig of of PCIe SSD and running 12K of Intel Core i7 for this review unit. But there is another option for the Core i5. Six performance cores that can clock up to 4.7 GHz with 8 efficiency cores. Iris Xe graphics for i7 version. The general performance of this laptop is pretty awesome, pretty nice. There's no laggy issue up to now, even if you pop up a menu or something like that. Oh, did I mention this is specially designed for smart conference? Well, yes, because usually we are quite worried during a sudden virtual call or sudden video meeting at home, right? This is because we cannot control what our family members are doing. Maybe someone is vacuuming, blending food, etc. and etc. Thus, this MateBook D16 with its personal voice enhancement can filter away those noises and focus on your own voice. So, right now, my colleague is demoing one of our family members uh, doing vacuuming in front of us. And I'm now trying how does the voice enhancement clear out the background noise and enhance my voice for video conferences. So, one, two, three, four, testing, one, two, three, four. Hopefully, you can hear my voice even though the vacuum is just right behind me. Put it up with the real-time virtual background, follow cam, where my face will be always be at the center with the 1080p AI camera. The AI camera here also allows you to change the background while you're video calling so you no longer have to worry you're in a messy background or hide where you are from your bosses. Okay, so let me now open up a 4K video and see how it runs. So as you can see, it's smooth all the way. 
and here's another 4K video sample and it runs pretty well. So any files with that resolution and beat rate, it can run smoothly with no issue. And now let me show you some benchmark scores which is pretty impressive. This is how the speakers sound like. So the things that I've mentioned just now, it all sounds pretty great, right? But Huawei has something more to offer. And this is not something new, you should be familiar with it. It's called the Huawei Super Device. The Super Device is all about connecting to your Huawei devices, making the ecosystem chain run smoothly around you. To form the Super Device, all you need to do is just to open up the control center and access the Super Device screen and drag your devices to connect to that. So although I haven't really get a chance to connect with all the Huawei devices we have in the office, but it's certainly exciting if I really get to connect the ecosystem truly. If you are just like me, you are just having one Huawei smartphone like I'm having here is the Huawei P50 Pro here. All you need to do is just to do one tap onto the mousepad and you get to do multi-screen collaboration, open up multiple screens or apps and drag and drop your files seamlessly. Now last but not least for the battery life here. You got a 60 watt hour battery here which can last me through around 6 hours of web browsing, YouTube, and some work tasks of my day with 20% of brightness level. But charging with the 65 watt supercharger, charging is fairly fast. It can reach 50% in an hour of charging. So, in my conclusion, is this Huawei MateBook D16 the best mid range laptop of 2022? Well, if you really ask me on my honest opinion, it all depends on what you're looking for and what's your budget and what's your demand for the laptop itself. And also, for the price, for the specs you get, well, I can really say this is a really good contender in the market out there. So, as always, let me know in the comments below what do you want to know more about this laptop and what I miss out for my review, what I should add during a review. Let me know in the comments below because I'm always open for it. And as always, if you like this video, do remember to subscribe, like, and hit the bell button. I'm Trisha C. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.